aging also has a dramatic effect on our skeleton. Many of us are at risk from osteoporosis. Bone cells are still hard at work, destroying old bone and replacing it with new bone. But old age upsets the balance between them. Osteoclasts are destroying bone faster than osteoblasts can rebuild it. What remains is a hollowed out cluster of brittle bone fibers. Our bones slowly crumble. And broken bones become a very real danger. It happens in both sexes, but the hormonal changes of menopause accelerate bone loss faster in women. Aging is one of the great mysteries of life. Why does our appearance change so very much between the ages of 40 and 70? It's more than wear and tear. It's a process affecting every cell in our body. Every day, cells clone themselves in their billions. The DNA inside is also copied. As old cells die off, the new ones take their place. The trouble is, this cloning system isn't perfect. Any imperfections in the DNA are also replicated. In a lifetime, we make so many copies of our cells that even the tiniest errors accumulate with time. It's just like using a photocopier. Copies made from copies degrade in quality. In our face, we have totally replaced the bone every two years since we were born. Our 70-year-old face is a 35th copy of our baby face. The imperfections get exaggerated with each copy. So by the time we reach old age, our face looks very different indeed. Another cause of ageing is in the very air that we breathe. We need oxygen to live, but throughout our lives, it is slowly poisoning us. Inside each of our cells, our mitochondria are like tiny power plants, combining nutrients with oxygen. They create the energy we need, but just like a power plant, they also produce pollution. In this case, the pollutant is a form of oxygen itself. The oxygen molecules change into unstable forms called free radicals. Over a lifetime, these free radicals slowly suffocate the mitochondria and damage our cells. 
our cells and DNA become more and more damaged and can't replicate themselves. Our body can't repair its organs properly. Eventually, they fail. Death, like life, is an amazing biological process, engineered into the cells of the body. Just as our DNA dictates the timeline of our development, it also puts a cap on how long we can live. Each time a cell copies itself, it leaves behind a tiny piece of DNA. After billions of divisions, so much DNA is lost, the cells eventually lose the ability to divide altogether. Death is not instantaneous. It is a gradual winding down of tissues and organs. It's thought that the heart's final pump flushes the bloodstream with endorphins, the body's natural painkillers. Now starved of oxygen, tissues cannot function. Within 10 seconds, our brain's electrical activity drops. Within four minutes, it is damaged irreversibly. Our hearing is the last sense to go. Even after death, some cells stay alive. It can take 24 hours for skin cells to stop dividing. And an amazing 37 hours before our last brain cell fires its final impulse.